What's good? Morning vlog. We are on the way to take care of some car related business. So I brought the camera and this is the last day that I'm going to have the uh, white dealer A6. I'm picking the S6 back up today. Uh, also, the truck is almost done getting prepped for SEMA, so that is exciting. You guys cannot see that yet, but if you're at SEMA, you will. Most important meal of the day, Orange Monster. So I got that business done and like I said the truck won't be seen again until after SEMA or at SEMA but I want to just talk about the guys who think trucks are worth absolutely remember this uh, CarMax bought my or offered to, to buy my truck video I guys put out well in that video I told you guys that mods don't add value and uh, I looked at this old square body OBS uh, Ford to possibly build out after uh, the Cummins build is done and I don't know this truck is kind of not famous but I'm sure a lot of you guys who follow trucks on Instagram have seen it I'm not gonna reveal who the guy was but he wanted 40 grand for a 215 mile 215,000 mile truck it's just crazy the aftermarket mods do not add value guys Anyway, I got some other business to take care of. I'm going over to pick up the S6 now. Let's go! So we're getting rid of the white Audi and I'm getting the midnight blue back. And this is what a $700 detail looks like. We had the detail completely done. Front to back, everything completely taken care of. Just look at it. All right, guys, we're gonna keep going with uh, stuff to do today. I feel kind of like crap though, so I changed out those of you guys who actually like the outfit checks You guys are hilarious and uh, I was wearing the trues and the Gucci belt with a ton of Amazon boxes But I feel like shit. I just woke up. So I just got the old sweats and the the Nike EQTs. Anyway, I got something special for you. Well, I'm back in the car just got it back from the detailer and uh, I want to tell you why you would spend basically a thousand dollars on a detail for a brand new car. When new cars are built, they're obviously freighted over on a ship from Germany or from whatever the country of Oregon is. Sometimes they come on a train, sometimes they come on a boat. Uh, if you're very special, they'll be air freighted, but that's not common for most consumer cars. Uh, then they either come to your local dealer on the truck, or like I said, they come on a train to the hub, and then they come on a small uh, day truck to the dealer. And all that road grime and all that stuff just kind of sits on the car for quite a while. All the dust and the stuff from the railroad that, that happens, just like I said, it just sits on the car. It's not very good. So it's always a good idea to get a, basically that, base leather that base level of protection that you want to start with on your car from new that way it's just that much easier to maintain so I did get this paint corrected and uh, ceramic coated already the car is at 440 miles now uh, which may seem ridiculous it would cost a thousand dollars to the consumer but like I said depending on uh, different circumstances it's you know I didn't pay a thousand dollars basically but that's again the car looks absolutely fantastic let's take a look at it now it's absolutely beautiful and gleaming now and like I said hopefully that that ceramic coating will help keep some of the surface swirls and the road contaminants off oh my fuel caps open keep some of the surface swirls and the road contaminants off So let's get into the point of today's video. When you buy a brand new car, I think the perception is that it's gonna come from the factory with a gleaming shine and with absolutely no issues whatsoever. And unfortunately, that's just not the case. Uh, when these manufacturers make a car and paint it, they put a rudimentary coat of clear coat over the paintwork, and that's about it. And just because your dealership told you that there's a special coating that they apply, it's usually not the case. Um, so the reason that you'd want to deal with a brand new car is like I said earlier just to Introduce that first level of protection and really just get on to a, a starting on a good foot with Kind of the the paintwork and preservation of your vehicle because 
even though this car only has 450 miles, it's been sitting outside of the dealership, it's been transported across the world, you know, and like I said, it's already seen some things, per se, and it hasn't really even been anywhere yet, just because it's brand new to you, that car has been to distribution centers, it's been to warehouses, and, and while, yeah, the service department at your dealership may have a detailer that will, you know, run a, run a buffer over it, maybe, depending on the dealer, to prep the car, what they're doing is they're just putting a very rudimentary wax onto the vehicle that hides the swirl marks that have already been introduced to your brand new paint for a couple of weeks until it wears off and then you're stuck with swirled paint in your brand new car thinking that you've done it even though it may have already been there. So what you want to do is essentially, unfortunately, get a paint correction right off the bat. And what that'll do is remove all the swirl marks. It'll remove all the imperfections from the paint. Then your detailer will probably clay bar the car to remove all the contaminants and the railroad dust that have come during the shipping process. Apply a new level of protection depending whatever polish and, and things they use they'll add a new layer of, layer of protection it'll put that polish back over your clear coat and then what i would recommend and what i got done to this car is the actual ceramic coating the ceramic coating is a very thin hard shell coating that goes on top of your clear coat which again protects the paintwork for approximately two to five years depending on how well you maintain it one of the things i will point out and I think is very important for all of my viewers is that going to your local drive through car wash and using their in-house detailer is not a reliable means of getting your paintwork taken care of. Generally those kids make, you know, 12 to $13 an hour and they're high school kids and well, there may be a few diamond in the rough guys out there that are really talented at, at buffing and paint um, when it comes to clear coat and paint maintenance on a vehicle of any stature but especially a Highline car or a car that you care about whether it's Highline or not but if you're a car guy and you want your paint to be immaculate I would spend a little bit extra money to uh, go to an actual professional go somebody who really really knows what they're doing because paintwork on it on a vehicle is an art you know, is absolute art. And being able to manipulate that paint and manipulate that clear coat in a way that you can preserve it without ending up burning through the paint or having to get a new paint job is an absolute art. Like I said, if you guys are interested in paint work and you are interested in detailing, but maybe you don't want to spend a thousand dollars to do it yourself or to get some, to have someone do it for you, um, I would highly recommend watching some of uh, Larry's videos from Ammo NYC. I'll link his his channel below but he's a professional detailer uh, on an extremely high level and uh, makes kind of DIY videos to help guys you know look at how we might be able to uh, to get into detailing yourself so check him out I personally I you know I have detailing stuff and I, I actually used to own a detailing company back in the day but even I don't even I don't feel comfortable going to some some of the measures that you know he goes to because again once you start working with this paint and these Highline vehicles, um, you know you can really you can really do a lot of damage as well if you don't know what you're doing. You know those orbital buffers that you guys see them using, they aren't very forgiving, and if you don't use them correctly, like I said, you can actually cause a lot more damage than than you're helping. So that's why I had the. Uh, the paint correction done. I'll, I'll let you guys know. Uh, the dealership actually introduced a lot of swirl marks to the car using their uh, basically their quick their quick system, and uh, fortunately we were able to convince the dealership to pay for a uh, full paint correction for me. Like I said, it was a thousand dollars at the dealership's expense, so I'm glad that they were able to uh, take care of that for me and uh, realize their mistake. But you know, it's kind of a one-time thing. They're not gonna do it every time. They're not gonna do it over and over. So uh, now it's up to me to maintain that ceramic coating and maintain that factory, you know, that factory shine. Alrighty guys, that's gonna do it for this vlog. It's still the same day. I'm just wearing yet another jacket. Uh, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I am giving away an Escort 360 Max radar detector when we hit 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you next video. Oh yeah, yeah I'm gonna let